I made this page a couple of days ago and it was on the back side of an art journal page I did quite a while ago and it was blank and I decided it needed something so I decided to work on that. Uh, it's a watercolored paper and I started out with using a stamp and uh, my Stazon ink pad to uh, stamp um, uh, mostly on the top of the page and then I'm going over it all with a white gesso that I'm just adding with a brush so and then I'm going to do some markings um, I have seen that done by uh, a few of my favorite artists and um, I decided to give it a go and I'm using my Faber Castell Echo Pigment Pen for that which is a 0 0.5 and now I am using uh, the heavy gesso uh, mostly to create some uh, texture on my page then comes out a few of my acrylic spray paints that I made myself and I'm going to play a bit and adding some color, spraying some water, using a brush, using the pipette, um, trying to uh, create a very nice background and I really want to do a big shout out at this moment to Didi Catron, I hope I uh, pronounce it correctly uh, she was and is my inspiration for this page. Really, really love her work. And um, I visited her ch channel and watched a couple of videos and was really inspired. And that is, uh, uh, this page is the result of that really. So um, yeah, I will leave you a link to her channel and you really must check that out because she makes the most wonderful little artwork. So she is uh, uh, making a series of index cards now and really, really love those as well. Please check her out and visit her channel. I will leave you a link in the description box below. So I am done with putting up the uh, color onto my page and now I'm used and I also did uh, some splatters with black and now I'm using a stencil and the uh, stays on to um, do some stenciling onto my page and just uh, do that with the ink instead of a texture paste I'm not using a texture paste and this is a little uh, needle bottle I got with white acrylic paint in it and I wanted to try and write with it but it was a bit clotted so it didn't work all that well but I got a bit uh, of kind of sort of handwriting uh, onto my page so that was perfect and here what I am I using here this is an acrylic paint Oh, and I'm using a stencil uh, that was a homemade stencil I got from Sunny, I believe, in Happy Mail. And I, tr I tried it with uh, acrylic paint and, uh, and sponge, but that didn't work all that well. So this is uh, the, the Viva, hmm, Viva Decor, I believe. It's... Um, it's very shiny, creamy kind of paint and that worked and I got some numbers down uh, which I liked very much and this is a stamp uh, from Dina Wakely and I'm going to stamp on uh, a piece of uh, paper, wipe up of paper you call it, paper that I use to wipe off my brushes and stencils and I'm going to stamp on that and then uh, cut out the hearts. So the hearts have uh, a nice background as well. So once those are cut out, I'm going to glue them down onto my page. Probably with the art medium. Can you hear the traffic go by? I'm 
I'm having my headphones on, but I really am so annoyed with the noise you hear here on in my craft room. Oh, I'm using the glue stick to glue down the little hearts. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then again, using the Faber-Castell Echo pigment pen to um, draw around the hearts to make them stand out a bit more and also scribble a bit onto the page and uh, using the Stazon ink pad to go around the edges so they have a bit of a crunchy uh, feel to it as well and again comes out the heavy gesso and I'm going to add a bit of the white gesso here and there with my palette knife. And then we are a few hours later and it's evening at the time. And um, I had these chipboards I got from uh, Action. There were uh, little hearts on them, so I decided to use those. And first I'm going to put some gesso on them so they stand out a bit more. And also using the acrylic spray paint to give them a bit of color using the water to make it blend in all together with the white. And that is a Faber-Castell artist pit pen and I'm using that to um, crunch up the edges a bit. And I will probably glue that down with the golden gel medium because that is the glue I usually use for heavier stuff to put down. So here I am tossing and turning and trying to decide where to put the little hearts. And um, this is a charcoal pencil that I, uh, I'm going around the hearts again. So to make them stand out a bit more. And uh, because that is water soluble, I can use a water brush to make it all shadowy kind of. And indeed, this is the golden gel medium, um, which I use to glue down the little hearts. And then I'm guessing it's almost done. Here I'm cleaning up the mess I made with the uh, with the golden gel medium and using a needle to uh, get it out uh, of the hearts. And this uh, I saw uh, Didi do as well, and I really liked it. She stamped with. Uh, um, a text stamp on old book paper. So I did that as well and glue it all down with um, the glue stick and then adding the date and my signature. So remember to check out Didi Gutron's channel. She is amazing. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video guys and see you again very soon. Bye-bye.